we want to find the absolute max and the absolute min of this function x cubed minus 12x over the closed interval 1 3 this is a polynomial so it's a continuous function that means we can use the closed interval method the first thing to do is to take the derivative 3x squared minus 12 then we set it equal to 0 to find the critical points um, add 12 to both sides, divide by 3 and then we have x equals plus or minus 2, don't forget the negative square root so in this problem the critical points are 2 and minus 2 and the endpoints are 1 and 3 but remember that we're only concerned with the interval 1 3 and minus 2 isn't in that interval so we don't actually we shouldn't do anything with it right it's not in the, it's not in the interval that we care about so we just toss it out that means when we make our little table um, of x and f of x values we're just looking at 1 2 and 3 and now let's plug these into f of x. Remember not to plug them back in f prime, but we're comparing only y values, so we do it in f. Um, when you plug 1 in, that's 1 minus 12 or minus 11. When you plug 2 in, 2 cubed is 8 minus 24, so that would be, what, minus 16? And then when you plug 3 in, that's 3 cubed or 27 minus 12 times 3 that's 30 minus 36 so 27 minus 36 is minus 9 and now we look at this table and we go oh the um, largest y value is minus 9 so the absolute max on this interval is minus 9 and it occurs at x equals 3 and the smallest one is minus 16 and that occurs at x equals 2. So that's our answer. And notice that um, x equals 1 is neither an abs the absolute max or absolute min. It's still a relative max. It goes from minus 11 to minus 16 but it's not the absolute max or the absolute min. And in this problem we won't worry about that.